I'm Jim Laris. I come from EPFL in Switzerland, which is the French-speaking part of uh, the country. And EPFL is the French-speaking equivalent TTH. But before that, uh, I came from the United States. I'm an American, and uh, I worked at Microsoft for 16 years. And before that, I was a professor in the United States. So I've done a little bit of academia and industry as well. So currently, I'm working on how do you build uh, large-scale confidential computing systems. So, you know, all of our information is on devices like your phone, but the devices are backed up by very large computers in the cloud. And your information is potentially accessed by many parties, by the companies that run the computers, by the companies that write the software for the computer, for the phone. And we want to find ways of protecting it so that your information remains your property and not shared by uh, lots of unauthorized people or uh, institutions. Everybody has moved to this model of computing on local devices like phones as well as in the cloud. And so, you know, companies are very concerned with who can access uh, the information that they store in computers in the cloud data centers. And uh, also privacy and security of information is a big deal because you see the stories all the time about computers getting hacked and information getting stolen and, you know, extortion and theft and, you know, you know attacks actually on uh, national infrastructure as well. And so, you know, we really do need to improve the uh, level of security and privacy and confidentiality of the computer systems. Otherwise, you know, we're building the world on a pile of sand. The future is information. You know, if you look at history, the 19th century was steel and iron and steam, and the 20th century was electric motors and gasoline motors and airplanes. And the 21st century is computers and information. We've already seen it uh, for the first uh, 20 years of the century. And so countries uh, really need to invest in it. And it's fantastic that uh, Bulgaria has managed to get this kind of investment and this kind of collaboration going so that they can build a world-class computer science research organization. And uh, there's a lot of talent here. And it would be fantastic to be able to take advantage of it. And I think this is a great first step.